Hello, I'm Norm Rasmussen, the director of the Precious Testimonies non-denominational outreach. I want to thank you for uh, checking this uh, brief video out. I just want to share a couple of things about financial giving, uh, giving to ministries that uh, you might benefit from. Okay, uh, God is looking for people who understand that anytime we give money to a ministry such as Precious Testimonies, for example, uh, we're to do that because we believe in the ministry. We believe that it's doing something bona fide to help uh, uh, increase the kingdom of God in the lives of people. What's the kingdom of God? Well, that is reaching out, winning souls to Jesus Christ, and then when those souls have made a commitment to Jesus Christ to be Savior and Lord of their lives, then to grow in their relationship with Him in accordance with the Holy Scriptures or the Word of God. There's so much bad teaching about giving of finances in Christianity, and it breaks your heart uh, to hear and read what so many people are saying because they just don't understand that uh, the uh, directions that God gave the Jewish people in the Old Covenant and the Old Testament uh, those were nullified when Jesus came on the scene and especially after he died and resurrected when the New Covenant was uh, put into place. And um, the, the Old Covenant uh, took away sins or delayed punishment for those sins uh, by the shedding of innocent blood of animals. Well, when Jesus came along, that all changed. The shedding of the blood of God, the innocent blood of Jesus Christ, uh, atoned, uh, washed away the sins of every person who would ask and trust him to forgive them of their sins. Okay, And the giving of money changed. The giving of money changed. It wasn't now a percentage of what you were to give to the Levitical priests so that they could live on that. Now we are to give what we want to give. Nothing nullifies uh, the truths that uh, you give a little, you're going to get a little. But let God determine what little or much is. We don't need to be putting percentages on it. If we do, we can get in trouble and feel like we're supposed to give, we are obligated to give. God does not want us feeling obligated to give to any ministry. He wants us to do it because we want to, we believe in that ministry, we believe it's a fruitful ministry, and we're doing it to lay up spiritual rewards in heaven. Nobody's to know what we give, who to we give to, how much we give. That's between us and God. Well, I won't say any more, uh, just uh, that uh, there are a couple of excellent writings in the description section uh, below on this video that I think are excellent resources to help you understand better what I've briefly shared here on this clip, okay? Take the time to read that. I think you will be able to receive a great deal of wisdom and insight from the Holy Spirit. Thanks for hearing me out. God bless you.